Hey there guys and welcome back to Unjaded Jade. Oh my god, I look so unnecessarily dramatic. But I wanted to just go all out for a bit of back to school. If you've been following me for a while, you would know that I love Notion. I've been using it for most of my university life now and I'm going into final year next year and I genuinely cannot imagine my life without it. It is this incredible planning tool, organization system, where it basically gives you building blocks to customize it in any way which is useful for your life. Everything from to-do lists, to habit trackers, tracking all your courses, making class notes, writing down any inspiration that you have, keeping track of stuff, like it's just, it's everything that you could ever want. <laughs> Today I'm going to be showing you how I have set up my Notion page for back to school for my final year of uni. I'm also doing a dissertation next year and I've made myself a page for that. I really hope you find this useful if you're already a Notion user or if you're looking for some kind of system to improve the way that you do school. Notion is completely free for students and educators so get yourself on that if you're a student. So many of my pages I have taken inspiration from Amelia Croner who is a wonderful alumni of my university and she makes incredible Notion pages so I will link down below all the templates that I got inspiration from. While we're here, I just wanna say, the learning curve for Notion is steep. It feels overwhelming when you first see all the options that you can have, but I promise you, if after this video you take five minutes, 10 minutes to download Notion, to try and work it out, to watch a few videos, download some templates, and you make that effort now, I promise it will serve you well in the future. Welcome to my life hub. This is where everything happens. I've changed it a little bit over the years, but generally it's kind of simple. Here I've got a cute little quote. Up here I've got a cover image that I took that just brings me peace. Here I've got continuous things, so everything from my to-do list to putting in articles that are interesting for my future career, my goals and reflections for this year. Here I have general inspiration. So for example, if I listen to a podcast and I want to write down my thoughts, I can put it in here. Down here I have all the academic good stuff. So my class notes, uni hub, capstone, which is is what my university called dissertation, miscellaneous, assignment tracker, favorite readings, and then YouTube, I have video ideation and execution. So this is where I think about what kind of videos I wanna make in a Kanban board structure. Yeah, basically everything to do with having a YouTube channel. And then I customize this. I put one of my favorite songs, which is Butterfly by Umi. I can play it. <laughs> That's just my anthem. Um, it's just good energy and I love having it on my hub. I've also recently been getting into widgets from Indify, which is a free website, which is basically where you can embed everything from countdowns to trackers, weather, and here I just put in the weather for Buenos Aires, which is where I'm studying abroad next year. This is my general hub. Okay, so my daily to-do list. If we just head into today, you can see this is my very basic way that I organize my life. Some people do this in a gorgeous aesthetic way. I don't. I just have a to-do list page where I generally separate to admin, content, academic. And making a page like this is very accessible even if you've never used Notion before. Every time I click the forward slash, I'm given all these options. So for example, I can create a new heading. Another subheading of tasks that I have to do relates to work or like part-time part-time job and then again if i click the forward slash i can create a to-do list and now very easily i can write all the things that i need to do rewrite cv send out to five companies and then i can come back here can easily tick them off Love it, easy to do list, works for me. I often come back from uni and just blurt down everything I need to get done. Notion also allows you to keep your favorites on the side. So I often just access my to-do list page from here. So back to my life hub and let's go into university. This is my hectic little university page. Over here, I've made like a roommate space for every room that I've lived in at uni. So in Berlin, I lived with my two friends, Gabriel and Lara, and we made a page where we shared important links, information about rent, um, anything we wanted each other to have easy access to. And they all have Notion accounts, so it's really easy to create a page together. When I move to Buenos Aires and meet my new roommates, I am also gonna make us a Notion page. Over here, I have some handy links that I might need. So calendar, Google Drive, Minerva Hub, 
car, the registrar. Here I've got all the classes that I've taken so far with all the professors and links to notes. I've got my very important class notes page, which I'll show you later. My capstone page, Buenos Aires, Seoul, Berlin. And in each of the city pages, I've just written down things I could do to prepare, bucket list, ideas and inspiration for where I wanted to go in each place. Berlin, I also have my bucket list and inspiration. Here I have a general calendar where I can add in stuff about university. So for example, moving to Buenos Aires, um, I have my flight details, just important dates to keep track of. And then if we go into class notes, which is also in my favorites, this is where my life kind of happens. For every class I take at university, I make my notes here. I can section off the class type, whether it's an assignment or a class or summer prep or a summary. I can add in any materials, which I don't tend to do because they're on the university page anyway. And every time I click new, I can click new class notes and I've created this template for myself. I'm gonna walk you through how I take notes for university. Okay, let's imagine my class today is on visual attention, blind sight and change blindness. I study a cognitive neuroscience degree, so this is just one of the classes. What my university does is it has a study guide where I'm asked some kind of key questions to guide my reading. So for example, before I enter this class, I should be able to say, what are the key features of blind sight? What specific kinds of abilities do we observe, blah, blah, blah. What have more recent imaging studies suggested? How could plasticity be relevant? And then here are all the readings that I need to do for this class. And then I also need to do some pre-class work. I would go to my class note template and make a copy of the title of the class. Then I go session SS152, type class. This is not an assignment, so I would not fill in the stage. And then I can attach the readings if I want. I copy and paste my study guide questions and I turn them all into a toggle list. The reason that I do that is future me can come back to this page and ask myself these questions before I find the answer. Okay, then I do my forward slash, I create a heading three, reading one, and then just copy and paste the name of it. And then underneath here, I would just make my general notes about that reading. So here we go, I've got summary, main text, images, da 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 da. And I would repeat the same process for all the papers in this class. There's a lot of readings. <laughs> Sometimes my professor's really lovely and will highlight the parts that I actually need to read um, that are most relevant to the class. So I go ahead, I make my notes on this. Wow, so, so much reading. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to last year of uni, ah, so much. And then once I've made all my notes from all the readings, I can come back here and I can write myself a general summary. This is mainly to test my own understanding of the class. Like what are the key points? I write it in this little summary box. I'll fill in the study guide questions at the end just to make sure that I've actively understood what I need to know and also that I can answer these before the class. And then really important, I will write down three questions to ask future me. This is to help me recall the knowledge in the future. So like active recall flashcard kind of questions. For example, what is the definition of blind sight? Very simple, but just useful for me to come back to this page and quickly refresh. So that is how I use my class notes. You have them all here. When it's an assignment, I just use it to um, draft out any of the research for my paper. Lots and lots of classes. The beauty of Notion as well is that I can also filter this. So, for example, I can click filter and click class. And if I only wanna see my SS152 classes, I just click SS152. And all of a sudden I've got all my notes for this class. Something I also created is an assignment tracker. This works by linking anything that I mark as an assignment and also putting it into this page. So during the term, I can write up to like 30 assignments, which are just papers of around 1,000 to 1,500 words. And when I'm working on them, I can keep them in not started, or if I draft them out, I can put them in outlined. If I'm starting to write them, I can put them in drafting. And then when they get submitted, I put them here. Uh, and I think the beauty of that is I can just really visually see where I'm at with all my assignments. It's super simple. I can also go back easily and find my assignments. And once I've submitted them, I'll put the link to them in my Notion. Okay, so coming back to my Life Hub, we've seen class notes, we've seen Uni Hub, We've seen the assignment tracker. Favorite readings is just quite basic. It's just me attaching my favorite readings. But capstone is where we're gonna go next. 
This is my page for my dissertation and it was really inspired by Amelia Croner who graduated from my university. I've been given a capstone advisor so any meetings that I have with her I can just put my quick notes in here. Um, everything from inspiration for cool dissertations to research that I've done, it all goes here. I didn't have a page for a while and I just found myself constantly creating documents and pages and everything was very scattered. So I'm glad that I have this now. My dissertation is gonna be on something to do with the science of learning. So I've got my literature review of study skill papers, meetings, feasibility, risk analysis. There's so many bureaucratic things you have to do for a capstone to make sure that it doesn't include human subjects. I've got my monthly goals. This is very inaccurate, but I've got like a timeline, which I don't use, but I will eventually use next year. And that's my capstone. And I really love how you can change the icons on Notion. And I purposely made this one a mountain because I feel like it's gonna be a, a climb. <laughs> Get Miley Cyrus out. Those are most of my class notes and I've updated them all for the term ahead. But one more thing that I wanna show you that I love using Notion for, for my study abroad and for going to university is my city pages. I'm moving to Buenos Aires in one week, four days, nine hours, apparently. This countdown is a widget that I got from Indify. I love collating everything that I'm learning about a city into a Notion page so that future me can, you know, quickly scan, see all the areas, for example. Like I've been researching the different barrios of um, Buenos Aires. And it's just really helpful. It helps me be organized. It helps me make the most of being in the city, create a bucket list of things I want to do. I've been looking at volunteering opportunities. So I created this gallery view of uh, different places that I might want to work at. Oh, here's the image, it's loaded, yay. I love how customizable Notion is. I'm not really an aesthetic queen, but I'm trying to be. And I saw some people using these like dramatic sparkly things so i added those which i think looks cute here i just made a call out moment which i can show you how to do again you just click that forward slash you can go down they even have a quote option but i love this call out i can change this and i can write anything from i'm so excited and the beauty of Notion is that everything is like a block, so you can always just move it around. You can even make it side by side with an existing widget and I can add something else here. There are so many things I'm not gonna show in this video because I do want to focus on how I'm using it for my final year of uni, but I have a whole video on how I've used Notion for my goals and reflections for this year, like New Year's resolutions, habit tracking. I used it to plan my book. I use it to plan all my YouTube content, as I said, and that's a whole element of me using Notion. If you're a student, I can't recommend it enough. Like, I can't remember my life before I started using Notion. I don't know what I did. I don't know where I put stuff. Like, this is just amazing. It also has an app, like, life-changing stuff. I'm gonna leave a bunch of my templates down below. So if you have never, heard of Notion, you have no idea where to start, you're a total beginner, then I highly recommend trying out some templates. You literally just click it, you click duplicate and bam, it's yours. You can customize it how you like, you can use it how you like. Just try it, it's worth it. Like try the most basic functions like the to-do list and maybe making some notes and I think slowly you'll get into it more as you learn more. I hope you guys found this useful. I feel so grateful to Notion for sponsoring today's video and letting me go through my beloved Notion Life Hub. I'm sending you all the love and luck for the academic year ahead. If it's also your final year of uni, then I hope you relate to my bittersweetness. Like I'm excited to soak it all up, but it's also sad because it's the last year. It's a strange one. My casual magic of the day, let me think. Okay, I was on a walk with my dog and I saw these other two dogs playing with like a hay bale in the field and it was so cute. They were just like best friends and they were like throwing this hay at each other. Um, very wholesome stuff. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.